Okay, good afternoon. It's uh, what is today? Friday, December 17th. Now, uh, continuing on with the new throttle quadrant from uh, Flight Sim Center, we got it uh, unboxed yesterday, and we actually last night hooked it up uh, and flew it uh, sitting here, having installed it uh, using. Uh, uh, <clears throat> The scripts that uh, Picatonga has made uh, in X-Plane, uh, we got them, all the flaps and speed brakes and everything aligned as far as the scripts and the set points. And we're actually actually able to do a auto land we're using the auto throttle. Uh, really work perfect. So it's uh, it's working really good. Uh, today's plan is to uh, a couple things. We're gonna gut the the sim here, take both chairs out the pedestal, the old throttle quadrant. We're also going to fix the bent flange, have a bent flange. And we're also going to work on uh, trying to figure out this lower monitor up here, how to replace it. It's uh, too long for the new throttle. So first thing we're going to do is going to take this new um, uh, throttle quadrant and get it out of the way, uh, which means we'll just set it right here for now. Just want to get it out of the way. It's heavy. It's 55 pounds. It's stout. Ugh. Just put it right here for now. Maybe I'll just get it out of the way. Okay. First thing we we'll do is get these chairs out of here. First chair we need to get out of here. Don't need that. Okay, let's just lower this down all the way. I've already pulled the pins out for the rail so it'll slide off the back. Uh, it should come right off. Hopefully, that's it. I didn't like that. Let me set this chair up a little tighter. There. Okay, and that should just come right off like that. Here's one of them. We're going to set it down here. time I've done this so not my first rodeo. Just gonna take this chair out. Just like this. Let me pop this chair up so it's sitting up a little higher. That's all the way up. Pop that out. Now she comes. Back of it. Just like that. And we'll take this one. And we'll walk it right down here next to the other one. chairs out. Now we're going to need to sit on something, so we're going to need a chair. We got one right here. Hold the chair. Okay, 
Now we're taking the pedestal out. And before we do that, let's clean it. Clean it up a little bit. Get some of this dirt off of it. Best thing to clean with is a mascara brush and a vacuum. Closer and lower it down. That's what we're going to be working right in here. Like so. Let's try it right there. These are does fasteners. I'll take the printer out also. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This is the Hobbs meter. Take a little bit of blue tape and put it over that uh, connector so we don't short anything out. Or the positive. Let's put that in there. And we'll get some of these plates out. Get them out of the way. So, okay. Then I need an Allen key. Let's get this headset out of the way. Just set it right there. Okay. Uh, where's my Allen key? I was using it earlier. It should be sitting around here somewhere.
one. I think we got six of them down in here. One. Two. Use your quarter twenty cap screws. And number six should be right down in here. Okay. Number six. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to need is to disconnect the butt kicker. And it's down in here and it's powered off. But before you do that, I want to mark with blue tape where this is. So when I put my new throttle quadrant in, I'll know if it lines up. Well, that's not going to work because uh, I need to extend the line down. Okay, so I'll need a, so I'll need a, a ruler. We're just going to extend the line down here, right there. Right like that. This is where the old one is. We'll know where the old one lines up. Right there, right there. Okay, go to the other side and do it. Same thing. Ah. Two pieces of tape. I'll just extend this line straight down. Go there. Disconnect the butt kicker. It's just a couple of wire nuts. There. And there. Okay. Put these wire nuts back on the wires from the amplifier. Okay, that's all good. In there, and I think we're ready to pull this back. So just pull it back a little bit and come in here and just disconnect some stuff. So we'll disconnect the 
Hobbs meter to start with. And we'll disconnect the 5 volt IBLs. We'll turn them down first. Disconnect those. And we'll reach in here and disconnect the 12 volt the floodlight. Floodlights disconnect it. Okay, and then we need to disconnect the Twelve volt. That's all disconnected. It's disconnected. Uh, that's the twelve volts right here. Okay, and then we need to skip disconnect the USB and the USB power, and that is going to be right here and right there, and that comes out. That's out, that's out, that's out, and that's out. When I built the uh, pedestal, I made it all quick disconnect, so everything will just come apart, and you can see how long it took. Pedestal would come out now. Fortunately, when we put the new throttle quadrant in, I'm afraid that these holes aren't going to line up. So I'm going to drill and tap new holes. I'm not looking forward to that, but... You know, that's the price you pay for fun. Okay, so now we're going to remove the throttle, I mean the pedestal. We're going to grab it right here and right here and just lift it out. Just like that. And it's coming over here. This is the butt kicker right here, and I'm actually going to leave it right there. The next is the throttle quadrant. Oh, man. This is going to get, I'm going to get lower now. Much lower. So. Much lower. Ouch, that hurt. Bare metal. Okay. Throttle quarters coming out. You think it'd be pretty? Oh, man. I'm going to disassemble it. I really don't want to. But I don't have a lot of options. Maybe I don't. Let me get in here and take a look. Ugh. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I got to assemble this throttle and put it right back together. It's very time consuming. There's no way around it. I got to disassemble it. Okay. It's not like I haven't done it 50 times. reinvent the wheel.
let's take the wheel off first. This will be the last time I do this. Well, no, I'll have to put it back together when I sell it. So this throttle quadrant works perfect with X-Plane. Uh, works really good. It's good throttle. It's totally rebuilt. It's got backlight, custom backlighting, all new uh, whole effect pots in there. Totally reworked. I'll be selling this. I think I'm going to list it for $800. So a replacement for that would probably be easily twice that and not have all the features this one has. I put the horn in, the stab trims work. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice unit. before Pat. Let's take it apart. That one off. Let's take these off. Actually, we should take this off first. Get that out of there. Just like that. These handles off. Take this one off right here. One. Two. Let's take this off. So we're going to need a larger Allen wrench here. Let's see. Got that one. Allen wrench there. And where's the bigger one? Just using it. Of course, I've lost it. Here it is. And that comes off here. This 
off on this side now. Three of these. One, two, and three. Okay, goes there. And we pop this connector off, right like that. And that comes out. Okay, two screws here. And we can flop over to the other side. One. And two. Okay. Now we go to the other side. Make some room. Going down. break off. Ah, perfect. It came right off. There's that little fiber washer down inside. Okay, that's off. Take these three screws off. Do you need a hammer? No. There's plenty of nails in the wall. Yeah. That's your broadcasting. I'm um, I'm recording. Okay. Look, that comes off. Right there. Get those are out. That's off. This gets lifted up. That gets lifted up. And these two screws come off. There should be a couple quick disconnects underneath here as we lift it up. Get this one right here. Disconnect this one first. Okay, that one's off. It should just come right off like that. And then we have this disconnect here. That should come off. So we got the whole head off. I want to take a picture of these switches here.
Okay, we can set that over here. And now we need a little Allen wrench. Take these cap screws off. Let me take this throttle quite enough. One. Two. Three. USB off. Drop that down in there. That one drops off. Okay, we got those four. And that. Okay, now we need to disconnect all this. So we've got the uh, clock and the mic connector. I think this is all coming out eventually. And then we've got the um, tiller. That's going to be a pain. We're going to figure that one out too. So our new, our new throttle doesn't have a joystick card. So my tiller goes to the, uh, the goes to the uh, Leo Bodner joystick card here, uh, access input. So we're going to take the tiller and, and run it into a new joystick card. I've got some built in here and I'll have to work it out. So that's not going to happen today. Let's just set that right there. I think I need to clean this mess up here before I start into here. So let me get the tools all together. Get all the parts for the throttle quarter together. The previous one, which I've had for years, it's totally rebuilt. It's in really nice shape. So I need to find a home for it. Probably under underneath is the best spot. Okay, that'll get it out of the way. Let's just set that here for now. Okay. camera over here for just a second. Okay, so we're going to take this and take this and go hide them somewhere. Hide them down here temporarily. And everything needs a spot. Okay. Now we're going to get in there, take out the stand for the pedestal. That's next. Okay. Stand for the pedestal. That's the stand. Here. And I think I'm going to need a little short stubby screw. My nut driver set, and I need a knee pad. So I'm telling you, I'm going to get in here. Okay. It's not like I haven't done this before. I want your nut driver. Size. 
Yay. Let's see if I can undo it. done they don't get easier trust me oh I take the CDU out and it came from the other side that's why it was harder easier before but I don't feel like taking the CDU out. That one out. I get the one down here. I think these can get a little easier. Bullshit. Bullshit. Not top. Top. We spilt that mess before. Okay, let's not. This will be the last time we do this mess. We'll just have a new mess next time. Okay, take this. Put that on there. Oh, 
screwdriver. Let's just see if we take this plate off first. CDU's got to come out. I just want to take the CDU out. CDU's got to come out. Okay. No way around. Both CDU's got to come out. No way around. This one is going to go, should come out pretty easily. Yes. Speed. Power. And the VGA. This says FO on it. And we're just going to shove that right back here. Right there. Important thing is that power on that CDU, the end of the pin is uh, bare and it will short out against the case and will get sparks. So a little bit of blue tape here. 
and we'll drop that down in there. And now we're going to do the captain's side. Ah, that's a lot easier. Okay, so let's take the USB power and take off the VGA. Okay, and that says captains. Let's stick that right there. Put a little blue tape on the end of this one. Right here. That. Okay. Right back. Here for what? Okay. Okay, get the CDUs out. Now I'm going to I can reach down and get that last bolt. I meant to do that anyway. Uh, eventually, so now I'll reach down in here. A lot of wires down in here.
clip here controller off. And audio controller off. Coming off. Get these screws out of here. Get this screw out of here. Take a sim apart step by step. Next comes the fun part. See if it's going to fit the new one. Well, I know it's not going to, it's how much work we're going to do to get it to work. Okay, we're missing one nut. One nut. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's get all these plates out of here. These are going with full throttle quadrant. And I'll go down here. Well, you know, then we're going to turn that light on in the back. Right back. Now what? Let's uh, summarize. Uh, we've taken out the chairs, the pedestal, the throttle quadrant, all this wiring, pedestal, and we've taken out the CDUs. This monitor here is going to be a problem. The lower MFD, it's too long. That's going to be a problem. So now we're going to take all this wiring and we're going to shove it back in the bay and bring in the new throttle water. But first we're going to clean up this mess. Make some room here. Okay. All this is going in there. shaker for this okay that's a problem I didn't realize it's gonna be a problem that nah, should be a problem okay. hopefully we're gonna take all the stuff and drop it down inside here hopefully it'll be out of the way this up out of the way this is the audio cable There, we'll put that over here for now. And this is the butt, the butt kicker controller. Now we'll get that out of here. Now. Okay. All this wiring is going to stay. I have no idea what that, oh, that was a 
for that plate right there. Okay, we'll just leave that here. I think we're ready to bring in the new throttle quadrant. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Pretty sure this monitor is not going to cut it. I can guarantee you that that monitor is going to be the problem. It's got to come out. Okay, we're going to end the new throttle quadrant now. We're going to set it right here. So let's pick it up. 55 pounds, man. Whew. It's a beast. And we started to need to straighten that flange out, but uh, we're going to do a fit here. So <clears throat> all that wiring has got to come underneath. And that, all that underneath is right through there. That should work. Okay, we're going to lift it over the. We're going to lift it over the butt butt ticker. Let's see if we get a little closer for you guys. Your viewing enjoyment. Okay, here goes. Lift right up the butt ticker and lift it over. Right there. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to fit. That monitor is not going to fit. Let's just roll this in here a little bit. And you can see no bueno. Okay, picture time. This is going to go to Mike. So it needs to go in. That monitor ain't going to cut it. It's coming out. No bueno. Okay, it's obvious what's going to have to happen. Although the angle is good. This is coming back out. Answers that question. Okay. Okay, ready, Pat? Set it right here. Right there. Okay. I'll be right
Okay. Back. I'm gonna start digging in here and taking this monitor out. Take some notes, take some measurements. I need a tape. There's a tape. This is where I need to get down and dirty. Ugh. Here's the power cord. Short that out, Pat. Let's put a little piece of tape over that. Short that out. Yes, monitor's going bye bye. pictures first. Get your camera. Okay, that comes out. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. It just pulls off there. No. It's just a panel. Bring the camera in. We're going in. Here's the camera. So bear with me. Untangle. Here we go. So what we have here, ouch, bear with me, is that's underneath this monitor. So what they've done is they've taken electronics and put it on this little board here. And this is the monitor and it just tells them it's the springs. It's got a power connector right there and a VGA back in there. Can you see the VGA? Uh, maybe not. Let's look at it from this point. Okay, you can see the VGA connector right there. And disconnect that. And we're going to yank this monitor out. Because it's too long. It's just too long. I can't push it up. It won't go up any farther up in there. It just won't go up in there. So let me, let me get the camera back on here. Okay. Get a smaller monitor. I need a Leatherman. We're going to just 
undo these little clippies down here. We take clips off. Ouch. I need to sit on this. This chair is tough on the ass. Okay. We just pull these little clips off here. Like that. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the other end. Oh, it's it's bent all the way over. Okay, I gotta unbend it. That one's off. That one's off. You just slide down. Get a picture here. And you can see it in the video. I've pulled it down. And I gotta unhook it from this. Let's see. See underneath to disconnect it. So I'm going back down. It's amazing how much work it takes to go down one foot. This is all metal too. Okay, should be able to just disconnect this and this. Okay, that's going to pull off there. Okay, that's off. That's the one connector. I got one connector off. And the other connector is coming around here. It goes to right here and here. I can't see that. Ah, it goes to a ground lug, you son of a bitch. Why would you do that? Okay, we're going to do it from this end. Got it. Okay. So let me hop up to start with. Phew. Uh, 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 come on. So, what they've done is they've taken a, a monitor and just broke the bezel off and took the electronics out. So regular monitor and just popped a little connector off here's the little connector and this is the other connector and it goes right underneath there so this is a uh, 10 inch main china got all the numbers on it what I, what I need is a smaller one Okay, now the electronics is coming out. Let me get a picture of this for Mike. New one's going to sit right in there. Let's get this off here. Just going to sit right there. There's the rail that it slides on. And let's get that measurement. Let's see how far 
and here this thing will go. See, the problem is it would go farther up in there, but you got more stuff up in here. So it can pretty much go to right about there. So we can't go much more than nine, about nine and three quarters. Nine inches. And width-wise, eight and a quarter. Eight and uh, comes up to right there. So that is eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Okay. So this plate can stay. But this shit's coming out. Let's measure this. So that is right there, and this with. to there. There's no sense in yanking this all out because, well, it's never going back in, so why not get it out? So I need It's never, ever going back in there. Viewing enjoyment. So we're going to take these off here. this 
plate off. Almost lost it. Okay, this plate should just lift off like that. Okay. And picture time. Okay, I'm going to take these nuts off. And we got some we got some flat washers, we need some lock washers here we don't want to lose. Let's pull that little connector off there. And let's pull the VGA off. Because we're going to HDMI. That's off. Okay. That connector can come off. That's the power. That's coming off. And that's coming off. And let's get that one off. That one's off. Okay, and then this will lift off. Hopefully. Yeah, you heard that washer hit the deck. Okay, that's one washer down. That washer out. That out. Okay, that board's out. And that's the controller board. Useless. Okay. Now we need to get this out. And that is... How is that hooked up? Ah, a couple screws right there. Okay, and then we got some standoffs here. And this frame can come out right here. We're just going to leave that there. That's going to stay right there. Okay, I need a little. Hold up, right back. Let's take these uh, studs off. Uh, this whole plate. I kind of want to leave that plate there. That's got to come off though. Huh. Let's hold this whole thing in place. I think it's. I think it's taped down. I think the whole thing is taped down. I should 
people and just pry it up. And let me get those nuts off. <laughs> it might be too bolted. Yeah, it's too bolted. Last one. This should all lift off now. Maybe not. I don't know. What's holding it in place? Can't tell what's holding this in place. I think it's got sticky sticky here. I think we got sticky sticky. Double-sided sticky sticky. Maybe not. Pretty sure that that's just glued down. You can make some big flat bladed screwdrivers and slide it under. I think I'll be able to pop that whole thing up without breaking it. If I break it, so what? So be it. Oh, we'll try this. Just pry things in this way. That popped loose, that's for sure. Yep. Whew. Yeah, it's it's sticky sticky. Very sticky sticky. Very, very sticky sticky. You heard it go bang. Okay, we got it out. Picture time for Mike.
Okay. Now we got a platform to mount the new one on. You know something? You know it's going to happen. None of these are going to line up. I had a 90 degree VGA. I'm going to try putting it back in. Just like that. Okay, let's go to the camera. Okay, we need a monitor. So, Okay, dimensions. And how deep is it? It is four inches deep. Four inches deep. And the channels, which can be moved, are.
I got help. I'm gonna pause this. I'll pause the camera. Gotta give my call. Okay, Mike, I'm, uh, I'm recording again, okay? Uh, yeah, I just started recording again. Okay, so the plan here is to... Uh, uh, took out this whole monitor. I'm going to put a new monitor there and... and to get this to flush up against here, I'm going to countersink these screws right here. Mark, put this in place, uh, mark the holes. But before I do that, I'm going to take these side panels off. I got, I got two of these side panels so I can mark the holes. So I just took one screw out and I laid it down. I don't know where I put it. Darn it, I hate it when I do that. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. And then I got these, uh, these uh, folders, uh, map holders taken off. I can, uh, I can straighten out this flange tomorrow morning. This broken flange, this bed flange. This map holder, the metal is pretty stout. Wow, well, I think I'll put these screws back in here. On both sides, first officer and captain. That's a quick reference guide sitting there, or is it too uh, small? Uh, it's too small. It's this thing is uh, it's uh. Eight inches across, it's oh five and a half inches deep, and it's uh, about an inch and uh, an inch and a quarter uh, deep thick. You Back in place and tighten these up. Be nice if they actually agree if they can reverse that capacitor. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get a hold of Peter to have him send me have him send me another iPad holder for the other window. He makes some really nice iPad holders. Mine's the same way. It goes up underneath. I got both my iPad and my Microsoft Surface uh, plugged in. You can't see them. Yeah, same thing with the tablet. I have it on the shelf. You know, when you put your cup over. Yep. Yep. I have it fit right on there. And it's the same thing. It's got that hard plastic case, and it's got one of that little cool uh, things that fold out, so you can just stand it up. And it sits on there. It fits beautiful. Plenty of room. 
Yeah. Oh, you know what I put in mine, Mike? In my sim? You know where the, uh, you know the, the little shelf behind the oxygen gauge, that little shelf there? I put one of those little uh, magnetic uh, battery chargers that you put your phone on and it recharges the, uh, the phone. Oh, there you go. Just flat. Put my phone right there. Keep it charged up. Okay, we're up. Uh, let's see. Putting, I'm going to take these side panels off here so we can straighten out this flange and put the marks in so we can screw this plate down. I mean, screw this throttle quarter down. You know, uh, Flight Service Center told me the throttle quarter sent me a book with uh, how to hook this thing all up and not a word about, they, they, they have something to do with X-Plane, but I, I don't know, um, I'm not going to even load it up, I'm just going to use Duncan's, you know? Yeah. I mean, when Duncan said he got it and tried it, and he just said, nah, ain't going to use it. I don't want to even load it up. Yeah, but this stuff is so rock solid. Why would you want to use something else? Yeah. Okay, that's all taken care of. Let's put this back in place and get it set up where we want it and mark it. Looks pretty good there. Let's push this back, make sure it's flush there. We'll mark this baby. Yeah, it's a pretty good. Pretty good. I think I'll mark it before I start cutting. I'll put the pedestal back in place to make sure there's no, oh my god. Oh my god. But why don't you think of make a mark on uh, like some uh, cardboard or something, cut the cardboard first with scissors and then line it up and make sure you can get it? Yeah, well, I, I mean, it's lined up. It's, it's squared up. Um, I'm using the edge of the uh, CDU uh, does fastener uh, as my uh, uh, alignment. It's, it's, it's all squared up. And... Um, but 
uh, I'm going to mark the holes and then put the pedestal back in place and make sure that there's nothing I've overlooked uh, before I start cutting holes. Marking them is one thing. Cutting the holes is a whole different ball game. But you know, your eyes actually, you know, when you eyeball things, you can get them pretty, you can get them damn accurate. I'm surprised how accurate you can get by looking at things. Uh, I couldn't make a square box if my life depended on it. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm made for getting that. I'm not good with wood and stuff like that. I could cut the four pieces at the same time and that bitch would be square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What well, I'll do on these holes is I'll mark it and I'll drill one and tap it and put the screw in, and then I'll drill the other hole on the opposite side. I won't I won't mark it and move it aside and drill it. I'll drill a hole. Because that way I know the hole's in the right place. Actually I have some center punches that fit the holes just perfect, so that's what I'll do. It's looking pretty good. I don't think I need to mess with that at all. It's flush up against there. cabling there. It's good. Oh yeah, it's gonna work real good, Mike. Let's throw that back in there. It's gonna be sweet. Put this pedestal up there to look at it. I think I'll put the captain's seat back in, sit in it, and see what it feels like with it all sitting there. Something. What's it hitting up against? What the hell? Oh, damn it! My my butt kickers are in the wrong place now. <laughs> okay. Just kicked in the butt. Yeah, I'll have to spin it 90 degrees and drill one more hole. Damn it. Okay. It, it's coming out. That's no big deal. Bucker here can be moved. That's why I wanted to do that. Make sure there wasn't any, you know, surprises.
I think I, I think when I put this butt kicker in, I, I uh, use some Loctite on the screws. Not at all. <laughs> nope. Nope, not playing good at all. Put my foot on it and try to push it, it wouldn't budge. Okay. Time to put some leverage on it. <sighs> hmm. What the heck? That Loctite shouldn't be that tight. Let me pull one of these out and see what color it is. That blue rock back can come off freaking You crack that with a freaking wrench or screwdriver and the house can get whatever you're using. We need that much pressure. Only one I know of we can use freaking that much pressure with the red stuff. That's the key. Ah, I just figured it out. There's nuts underneath. I think I nutted it underneath. Uh-oh, that's going to be tough to get to. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Not good. If I can crawl in there. Uh oh. Talk about going from bad to worse. Okay. At least it's a good time to check on dinner. Go check on my chicken fried fries, I mean, my broccoli. Okay, Mike, I'm gonna go ahead and hang up and all right, well, hope you get that other thing worked out. Yeah, I'll get it all worked out one thing at a time. I'll I'll keep in touch. Okay, I was talking to Mike. Okay, I think we're going to shut down the stream. And, uh, let's recoup. Where we're at today. Hold on just a second. Let me get these down here. Seats out, the pedestal out, the old throttle quadrant in. We got the new new throttle quadrant put in for fit. Found out that our center MFD screen is too long. We knew that was a problem. So we gutted it and, and um, 
was talking to my buddy Mike in Florida, and he's working on getting some new monitor, a new monitor for that. Uh, I had to take some screws out on the uh, MIP so I can get my throttle quadrant all the way up so it'll be flush. So tomorrow we have to countersunk some some screws, and then we got some metal we're going to cut and uh, fill in the little void at the bottom. Uh, got to mark and tap for the throttle quadrant because everything's moving forward about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. So that means everything's got to be re-tapped for the pedestal and the throttle. So I'll, uh, and I, my butt kicker is now in the wrong place, so I've got to get it out, but the bolts are underneath, and i got to crawl underneath, and it's, that's tomorrow's job. Um, i got a plan. I'm going to fix the uh, flange, get the throttle quadrant put in, uh, probably go ahead and uh, got to take the screen for the mid middle MFD lower screen and, and trim it so it'll fit in there, so the new monitor will butt up against it. That'll probably make take a week or two to get that done. Uh, get the pedestal put back in place. Uh, mark a couple holes and tap them. Fire everything up and give it a try. Tomorrow we're gonna put the pedestal in place. Put the seat back in and, and look at the fit and see how everything looks on the fit. Uh, we've got a plan. It's come along just about the speed it's supposed to. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, continue on. Is this tomorrow? So thanks for being here. Again, this takes time. That's for our quad. We tried it once with the Auto Land. It it really worked good. It's nice. Worked really good. <clears throat> and we're gonna go through all the setup of it using uh, Duncan Pickatonga's uh, scripts. How to get it all set up. Okay, I'm going to shut the stream down now. Let's see if I can find the mouse. There it is. Thanks for being here. <laughs>